Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to set up physical constraint rules inside PCB Editor. So we've got a PCB that's placed and we maybe want to start setting some physical rules, some trap thicknesses, the vias that we wish to use on, on different rules, on different nets. So we use Constraint Manager. We can either use a command line entry, we can assign a shortcut key, we could use the icon to launch Constraint Manager, or we can use the setup constraints to launch Constraint Manager. When we launch Constraint Manager, we get the physical tab open. There are other, other tabs inside Constraint Manager. They're going to be covered on other videos, so please check out the, the Parsis EDA YouTube channel. Um, so on the physical, we have split into three areas. We've got the physical constraint set all layers, which is effectively where the rule sets will be defined. There's the net all layers section, where your individual nets are defined, your buses are defined, your differential pair objects. These are driven directly from the schematic, or they can be assigned inside Constraint Manager. There's also a region section, so if you have any rules by area and you want to change the default rule sets used, you can define a, a region area and set up some rules in there. And there are how-to videos to show you how to do that. So what we'll do is we'll go to the physical constraint set all layers. We have a default rule. This default rule is split across all the different layers. Uh, my layers are split into conductors and to planes. Uh, that's driven by the cross section. You can define different uh, values per layer for different rules if you wish. Uh, in this example I'm just going to keep everything to the default rule so what we'll do is we'll use the default rule I'm going to set a default track thickness to use across all the, the routing to be 0.2 of a millimeter so every time I route a track it's going to start off with a default value of 0.2. There is a maximum value so if I was to set a maximum value of say 0.3 and I routed a track at 0.35 I would get a DRC error. Um, most people tend to leave this rule as a default of zero, then you can put any track thickness in that you want from a thickness point of view, but it's entirely up to you. There's a net value, so if I'm routing along and I want to, to put a slightly thinner track on, um, I can do a right click neck mode when I'm routing, uh, and it would then neck down this track to 0.15, and I can also set a maximum length for that. So if I didn't want that 0.15 track to be any longer than 10 millimeters, as soon as I went beyond that point, it would give me a DRC error. The differential pair rules are going to be shown in another video, so we don't need to cover those for this section. Um, and then I've got a via section, so which pad stacks do I want to use for vias? So if I click in the, the vias area, I get a list of all the, the available pads from my pad path setting. Um, and I can use a filter here, so if I've got some vias called via, um, you can start to, <coughs> to filter the items that you want, easily locate the pad stacks that you want to use as vias. So in this example, I'm going to use via via 19 and via 24. I have options when I'm routing to choose which var I want to use, um, but by default, the var at the top of the list is one that's used all the time. So if we make uh, via 19 the default one, I move that upwards and that's now the default var that's used. Once I'm happy with the rule sets, I click OK and that's that one rule set defined. To create a new one, I can right click on the word default, create physical C set, let's maybe give it a power rule, uh, and let's set the track thickness to be 0.5 and I'm going to net that down at 0.25. I'll leave the rest of the rules as they are. I then want to start trying to apply some of these rules to my net. So if I go to the net or layer section, um, I can expand these out to see all the individual items. So there's some net groups, for example, generated by Orca Capture. The differential pairs, again, generated by Orca Capture. But if I wanted to manually make some items, I can effectively just shift select two, two nets and then do a right click create and then there's the create options for what you wish to do. Uh, so this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with some power rules. So I want uh, my power nets here. I want to include uh, the 12V VCC plus 12V and I also want the Gund Earth. So we'll then do a right click create. Uh, let's create a class this time. I'm going to generate a class called power. If we scroll back up to the top of the list, I now have some class-based items at the top, so net classes, and then I can apply a specific rule to that. So let's drop this down to power. I'm now using the power rule every time I specifically route one of these nets. 